sometimes you're just in the in the weeds day to day, and you don't look up. These opportunities just um, remind you that you're in the right journey, that you're in business to do what you love. And I get inspired. I wrote several notes, and I said those are great things to keep in mind. Um, and I got a lot of value from this, and I love to hear about other people's journeys. I love a couple of things he said, particularly um, that you grow into your roles. Sometimes we don't know exactly which place our businesses are going to take us, but you grow into those roles. Um, another really good point that just was solidified that he said, stay true to your core values. Um, you know, you don't have to be all things to all people and all services and add every value to your customers, but add those core services that you really believe in and that's where your strengths are. Probably getting the employees engaged. It's one of the things I struggle with and they made a great point of saying, don't be king of the mountain. You know, put the company first and that's something I've struggled with and I think a lot of small businesses struggle with is I built this company as a means to an end for my lifestyle or to have some freedoms and sometimes you have to sort of step back and realize you're doing that on the sweat and labor of other people and making sure you get them engaged and keep them engaged. The program was very powerful. Uh, the energy of the two fellows that were uh, giving their presentation was so transferable. Uh, to me and I felt the energy in the room just really grow as a result of that, the magnetism of those individuals. I think the uh, key points or takeaways that I got out of that was that uh, they really enjoy their work and the energy that flows out of them as a result of it is very positive it, and, and the, the key things that empowered me as a result of that is to really continue on a daily basis to work on the business versus working in the business. The uh, uh, analogy that they gave was, you know, going for a swim in the ocean and then you wade in, it seemed pretty easy walking down the beach, getting in the shallow, but getting through the breakers and the waves and so forth takes a lot of effort. And then once you get through that, they're saying, you know, then it's smooth waters again and you can go for it. So, uh, and we sh we're in that second stage at this point. And so we're in the breakers and we're looking to find a way to, you know, get through that. And uh, so I think uh, having the right idea and looking for those opportunities unique within whatever industry you're in is where uh, you can create uh, new opportunities for your own business. It's a good check for yourself to say, yeah, they've made it a little farther than I have and here's probably why, as I probably limited my growth by having that mindset or having a certain set of values that aren't really going to be congruent with growing. So I think there's a lot of value. You get filled up, you get educated, you get inspired by, by coming to these and hearing about other people's success stories because you can see if they've done it, I can do it, and what pieces fit for me? What takeaways can I use in my own business, in my own personal and professional life?